Hi, today we're going to draw pumpkins. If you have a black paper, you want, might want to tape it down so you don't move it all over. We're going to use a white pastel, an orange pastel, a brown pastel, and a kind of reddish pink pastel, and a black pastel. And we're going to, we're going to draw pumpkins. And we're going to start, we're going to try to use the side of our thing. So you want to find about the middle of your paper, about right there. Then you put your pastel down and push it around, push it around, push it around. See, your pumpkin doesn't have to be round. Push it around, push it around, push it around. And it can come in kind of a, a place there so you have a place for the, we can put the little stem. You know how all pumpkins have a stem? This is our stem and we use the little brown for that. But I want to make mine just a little bigger, so I'm going to go around again. I'll make it just a little bit bigger. And I want to make it a little bit more orange, so I'm going to use some red over top of the, over top of the yellow. And I'm using the side. See, I'm using the side. I'm not, I'm not drawing with it. I'm just pushing it around. And I'll do it a couple more times because I want it to be kind of more orange. Then we can make little lines down it if you want to make little lines. You know how pumpkins have kind of little lines on them. And we maybe want to put those in, in orange. A little line. Another little line. Like that. Now we want a happy little pumpkin. So we're going to make two triangles for eyes. We'll put one triangle there and another triangle there. Actually, they're jack-o'-lanterns, huh? And then we're going to make a triangle of those. And we want him to be a very happy pumpkin, but we want him to have some teeth. So we're going to cut the teeth in. He's got a couple of teeth. And then we're going to go up come back down and make a nice smile on him. And then we're gonna cover the smile with black. Except don't be careful not to hit your teeth. You don't want your teeth to be black. And we want them to be orange. If you do make them get a little bit on them though, you can come back with your, come back with your orange and make them a little more orange. See like that, so they just kind of shine. A lot better. Now, I kind of like all this little, you can see the paper through there. I like that on my pumpkin. I want to put a little more of a base on him though, so I'm going to try and make a base. Not by like this, but by the side. Using the side. There we go. And I want my little pumpkin to have some little pumpkin friends, so we're going to put another little pumpkin. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our little orange and we're just going to push it sideways and make a pumpkin right there. Oh, this one's going to be kind of a little pumpkin. So we can make them a little bit bigger by just making the, pushing it out. And don't be worried if you have lots of black in there because that's the way it went. And we're going to have this one kind of halfway behind this other pumpkin. So you're only going to see part of him. And we're going to go down like that. And he's a little bit bigger than so we got to a bigger one and a little one. We got three pumpkins, so we can make three jack lanterns. Now they're two yellow for me, so we're gonna put a little more orange on them. Same way we did the other one, just use the side of your pastel and put it around and put it around this one. So they so they all are kind of orangey. We'll put a little bit around the bottom of this one. And then we want some lines in them too. So maybe we'll make some orange lines in these. So three little lines so that it looks like the ridges that are on pumpkins. You've seen the ridges on pumpkins. And these, what do they need? They need a little stem. This is a little pumpkin, so he gets a little stem. This is a little bit bigger pumpkin. He gets a little bit bigger stem. Okay, so we can make this one. 
with let's make this one have a starry starry eye and we're only going to see one of his eyes and maybe part of his nose and half of his mouth so we're going to make stars in this in this pumpkin's eyes so make a star and then black it in and then make him let's ha let him have a triangular nose and a great big smile with jagged teeth. He's gonna have sharp teeth, a couple of sharp teeth. And we're, then we color, cover, color in his mouth so you can see his mouth really good. And we want his teeth to stand out a little bit. So we're gonna, he's got two of them. We wanna make them a little bit more so you can see them. There you go. Now we have a little baby pumpkin. Now we gotta put some eyes in the baby pumpkin. Let's make his eyes. Uh, let's make his eyes slants like this. They're triangles, but they're different kinds of triangles. So he's got one like that and that. And he has a little round nose. We'll give him a little round nose just to be different. And he's gonna have a smile too. We want happy jack-o'-lanterns. This one's gonna have teeth on the bottom though. He's gonna have sharp teeth on the bottom. Can you see his sharp teeth? And then you color it all in. Make it with black. And let's make his teeth a little bit sharper right there. So he's got sharp ones. Okay, now we have three little happy jack-o'-lanterns. Now, oh, I forgot a green. I wanna put a green on there. So we have, well actually, yeah, let's, I don't know that we need green. Let's make some, uh, a few little autumn leaves to go around our jack-o'-lanterns. And their leaves are always kind of sharp. Did you ever notice? They're just sharp little points, almost like stars, but different and they don't have to be the same size and they don't have to be the same anything. They just have to have sharp little edges on them. And then they look like nice little leaves. So we're gonna put some red ones, red leaves down. And then we're gonna put some yellow leaves down so they have something to sit on. And we'll just make some sharp points back and forth and around and some more sharp points. We can even make it come up into the jack-o'-lanterns a little bit so they have something to sit on. There's another sharp yellow one. And it's touching, make sure they're touching each other. They like to hold hands, the leaves do. And we gotta put one over here under him. We'll make it really sharp. A little sharp leaf and he's gotta touch this other leaf. So there we go. So we got our little jack-o'-lanterns set, setting on some leaves. And guess what? We have a ghost come and visit the jack-o'-lanterns and he's flying over and he has little ghosty eyes. You know how ghosts have little ghosty eyes? And what a ghost is always white. So we're gonna fill him in with the side of our, side of our, uh, our pastel. We're gonna be real careful so we don't hit the knock off the top off this, off this jack-o'-lantern. You can just kind of be a little careful right there. And we're gonna have a ghosty. We're having a happy Halloween because we've got a happy little ghost and a happy, happy little jack-o'-lanterns. And they were easy to do and fun to do. And then to make your ghost look like he's flying, you just put your finger on and go like this and see how it makes it look like he's moving just on the top line. So he's flying down towards the, towards the uh, jack-o'-lanterns. And that's our lesson on making three little jack-o'-lanterns.